Hi everybody, welcome back to The Average. Today I'm going to be copying a fellow YouTuber um, who's obviously much bigger than me and much more successful at this. So I thought I would kind of borrow her idea and I'll link her down below, not that she needs it, but it's drawing with waffles. And she did this um, video where she drew everything on her Pinterest page because she says she gets a lot of like ideas from references. And uh, yeah, same here. So I thought, actually that makes sense. I wanna try that as well. All we need is Pinterest, a sketchbook, and some tools. Got all my stuff here. And we're just gonna go for it. Sorry about the train. First of all, we need to get Pinterest up. Let's go, Pinterest. Okay. So I'm gonna just... <laughs> Brilliant. So we're going to take inspiration from this. Oh my god, don't refresh. Oh, this. And basically, I'm just going to screenshot it because I know that it always like refreshes, so... Oh, nails. There we go, I'm really outing myself with the nails. So I'll pop those images up on the screen now so you can see what they are and we can begin drawing. So I really like the colours of that um, baking one. So I'm just gonna like use similar colours for like a design. And then I'm gonna start drawing. Shoes, shoes, shoes. Add some shoes. And everyone knows that I like to use this black pencil to outline, so I'm going to use that. Where's my sharpener gone? Hey, first one done. Okay, um, now I'm gonna draw this like nail hand because there's some cute like nail art on it. And I wanna try and replicate that. Kinda cute. <laughs> Bit odd, but this is the the way it works. Okay, let's draw this girl because she looks cool with her crazy purple jumper. It's kind of like fuzzy the jumper, I think. This is interesting. Very like 90s. So I like to block out the color and then draw in. And I feel like blocking out shapes really helps me visualize stuff a bit better and like where to draw stuff I feel I feel like it's easier than just going in with a pencil and copying uh, what you see like as I said the whole blocking out shapes thing completely get that wrong but that's fine it's just a fun challenge looking at that negative space let's give a blue hair because I want to stick to like this um, kind of color scheme we got going on here Do a different approach for this other one it's just I'm just gonna like try and draw it properly without coloring first just to just mix it up try a different technique you know go crazy I'm gonna just try being like really loose with this one Okay, let's 
looking cool. I like it. Just using different like uh, weights of line to like indicate darker areas as well. Kind of like this jumper. It's kind of like okay. So I did like a much more uh, quick style. I guess not really because like these are quite quick as well, but a much more looser style. I guess you could call it. I'm just gonna go in and like try and like highlight some areas with just some colour, um, just see what it looks like. Okay, she, she now looks evil because the red eyes are a bit much. <laughs> yeah, I like that style. It's interesting. really like the shape of this jumper. Um, I don't know if you saw last week's video when I did my character design, but I'm thinking, I mean, this is not that interesting, but she will be wearing a massive jumper and I think that will be kind of a characteristic of her personality is going to be like I wear massive baggy clothes and uh, yeah so I'm gonna just think about that a bit more because I think it's really interesting to think like of a character what they would like wear what they prefer to wear just adds a bit of a depth even though it might not ever be mentioned we will be able to see it right so it's an interesting thing to consider and like it's interesting to see how this like baggy jumper kind of flows and creases and how it works and uh, it's something that I probably need to just study a little bit further if I want to like continue using uh, continue this idea of this uh, baggy clothes so yeah I really like this like grungy effect even though it messes up the lines um, it's kind of interesting it adds a bit of texture i don't know what do you guys think uh i like these strawberries so i'm gonna add some more strawberries to like this area to just tie in the overall like look of the page i guess <laughs> this is a really good like warm-up method feeling a bit stuck in a rut just need to warm up uh before drawing i feel like this is a really cool way to do that just draw whatever you see on Pinterest and it's like even if you don't necessarily think it's something that you would usually draw or well I guess it would be something you usually draw because it's like on your for you page kind of thing on Pinterest but it, you still don't have like a choice in the matter kind of thing so I feel like I wouldn't necessarily have drawn these women um, but I was like oh should I have to like try it <laughs> it's it's still worked out i feel like still helped me warm up and it's still stuff that i probably wouldn't even like draw for sure so yeah i like this style of like shoulder where it's like bam uh, i'm gonna draw these shoes because well this one is a sponsored one but this one is not so I'm gonna draw these um, converse quickly. Shoes are often a thing that people struggle with drawing and I guess we would put off, like if we don't like drawing them, uh, you would put off trying to learn how to draw them because it's just something you don't really draw. But then when you wanna do like characters and you're like, oh, what shoes and like how will they, how do these work? Yeah, I'm definitely not enjoying drawing the shoe and I think it comes across. <laughs> It definitely comes across um, but let's make like a strawberry converse so all I've done in this in regards to this like drawing uh, spread is picked out um, some colors that go together and yeah I've gone a bit broader with it because there's been some points where I've needed a different color but I think it really works it really ties everything together even if even if the color scheme is not like super my favorite thing in the world I feel like it works nicely to just tie the page in together and I think at the end of it you would have like a nice spread even if you didn't like even if you don't like every single drawing as much as the last one I feel like you do get like a really nice together they all like work and that's why you should draw more shoes because if I drew more shoes I would understand what was happening at this because you just kind of remember when you draw it out a lot of time. Add in some flames because why not? Ooh, I don't know why I did that. That was like an intrusive thought to just put orange there and then 
I did it and I don't really regret it, but it could have been thought out a bit more. <laughs> Ooh, we got a flaming shoe, why not? Why the heck not? Let's do the next page. So it's refreshing the page. Um, let's do this. And this. So there's a few pages there. Um, so let's see. Oh, I know, I didn't do this one with the funny cat, which I, d I can't really draw that because that's like somebody's drawing, but we can draw the other stuff. Um, okay, I want to do like another kind of loose sketch on this one because I feel like it's just gonna look cute. Okay, now the tricky part of the flowers. I do feel like I did her ear too far away here, but it's fine, it's fine. So it's a characterization of what I'm seeing. It's not supposed to be perfect, perfect. I regret using this purple, but we'll see. Uh, these nails are cute. So let's see if we can incorporate some of that like style. I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of looking cute. I mean, I don't really know what to take from like the nail designs. <laughs> okay, um, next page. I'm gonna draw some limes, I guess. Okay. Um, Possibly the worst part of the page so far, but let's add a strawberry. Okay, not awful, but not great. Uh, I don't really want to draw that hand, so I'm not going to. Some more like hair stuff, I don't know why. I think we should draw something a bit more interesting because I feel like we're not going to have much space left. So I'm going to do this one and I'm going to do it in that rough style again, I think, but like here. It's the final drawing and sometimes when you're just like, kind of like, okay, I'm warmed up and I'm ready to to go, it can like help drawing, like it makes it better. I don't know what I'm saying. But yeah, once you're like loosened up, I guess is what I'm saying. I'm going to really exaggerate the proportions, I think. Okay, so there's a jumper. Another nice loose jumper. Oh my gosh, is that her finger? Yeah, it is. Okay, just holding like a finger. Oh yeah, I'm trying to be loose. I forgot I was doing it like loose. That's kind of hard to draw, right? Like the angle of them sometimes. You're like, what's happening here? Why was she sitting in this chair? It's not making sense to me. It's not even making sense. So I feel like as a final kind of image on this page, it's nice. Um, I really like just doing this like rough design because it's really making me just look at the shapes of like her outfit and like her whole body. Like it's not like a good um, life-like drawing if that makes sense, but it's working on the sense that it's like it's like a good character and it's exaggerating like her style and I think that's kind of working I don't know I feel like they're my normal stuff and I really like the outcome of like just like her shape and yeah just loosening up basically because I feel like when I draw now I'm always like quite stiff so I really like this looser style. Um, I wanted, I don't know whether to do colour, but I think I'll just do like a blue or something. Let's do like a bold orange. I'm liking the page now as it is. So I'm like, do I continue and draw something there to like add something? Or do I just leave it? Because that's kind of cool, right? So, yeah, I feel like this is just filling space for just to fill space. So I'm not going to continue just doodling random to like fill a page. You know what I mean? 
but I feel like it's turned out really cool. I really like this drawing and this one and this one. Uh, the beginner one is a bit stiff, but as you can see, like as we progressed through the drawings, uh, that when I loosened up, it became much more like stylistic and much more visually interesting. So if we take like this image and then look at this one, I definitely prefer this one where it's just loose, uh, interesting, free, not like trying to be perfect, just is what it is. So there we go. I feel like this was a really cool um, task to do. And thanks again to Drawing With Waffles for letting me steal her inspiration. I mean, she probably doesn't know about this, but, you know, I'll link her down below. And, yeah, what do you guys think? Are you going to go and try out this Pinterest challenge? Um, yeah, so that's it. And, uh, oh, by the way, guys, my comics are still for sale and stickers galore and everything on my Etsy. So if you're interested, uh, please go check that out. But thanks for watching this and I hope to see you next time. And please drop a like because it helps the channel. And, uh, yeah, see you next time. Bye.